It was a shocking sight. An almost unrecognisable Julian Assange. Under arrest and no longer in control. Seven years ago, he skipped bail to hide out in London's Ecuadorian embassy to avoid jail. But his flagrant defiance ultimately ended in this humiliation. Are you OK? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm 74. He looks as old as me. He's 47. Terrible. This is hard for a dad to watch. John Shipton last visited his son at Christmas. But four months on, he's dismayed at Julian's rapid decline and outraged by his eviction. Do you dare to, to imagine what he's thinking at that point? Being dragged out, I imagine I would feel confused, bewildered. But where the world might see a deeply disturbed and broken man, John can still recognise his son's inner strength. Now his eyes look good and firm and steady. Yes, he's fine. Still fighting spirit there. Everything seems OK. An internet activist and self-proclaimed journalist, Julian Assange became the news in 2010 when he released millions of highly classified American defence documents and video on his website, WikiLeaks. If you get this material, give it to us, no questions asked, and you will help change history. Two years on, he was a wanted man for alleged sexual assaults, and thanks to WikiLeaks, accused of espionage. The long struggle for justice for me and others continues. Then he became the world's most high-profile refugee when he sidestepped the authorities by winning asylum. But his guaranteed freedom in the small Ecuadorian embassy was a prison in itself. There are moments, you know, where you think, this, this situation, oh God, this is, this is absurd. How is this going, going on? And, you know, I, I miss fishing and my family and my children. But um, it passes. Today, Greg Barnes, part of the Assange legal team, says this recent arrest is revenge, orchestrated by the US government, and a warning to all whistleblowers. Disclosures like these tear at the fabric of responsible government. We're looking at all of the things that we can do to stem the flow of this information. They want to teach the media a lesson, which is you mess with us, you mess with our security state, you reveal our secrets, uh, we will take a very dim view of it and we'll come after you even if it takes nine or ten years. The US authorities have now charged Julian with conspiracy, a crime that carries a maximum five-year jail term. The next step is to try to extradite Assange to America. It's a move supported by former Major General Senator Jim Molan, who considers Assange a serious security threat. In your opinion, is Julian Assange a hero or a villain? In my opinion, he is a villain because he gave away what we call tactics, techniques and procedures. What he released was how we operate. And for an enemy that is working against you, that is absolute gold. The distinct call of Australia. And unassuming Broadford, a small town in central Victoria, couldn't be further from London. But right now, London is all John Shipton can think about. They may not share the same name, thanks to a family split, but there is no doubt John and Julian are father and son, though John insists his son is the better version. Julian was charming, you know, he would go to a, a party and then within a few minutes he'd be surrounded by people. Now, I was the opposite to that, of course, I would sit in the corner wishing somebody would come and speak to me. An accomplished and convicted computer hacker, in the name of transparency and accountability, Julian created WikiLeaks, a cyber news library 
for anyone who wanted to anonymously share secret and sensitive information with the public. It's clear that it will shape an understanding of what the past six years of war has been like. But this unedited information would also put lives at risk. Did you see any danger in what he was proposing to do? I did say to him in a telephone call, do you want to be careful because they might shoot you or push you off a bridge? And did you mean it? Yes. Did you think he was always doing right? Well, well yes, I thought so, yes. Seemed good to me. Do you accept he also made mistakes? Uh, yes, of course, yeah. We all make mistakes. Um, yeah. I don't know what they are. Julian Assange's defence, if you like, of revealing a mm. nation's security secrets is, <clears throat> is calling for greater transparency. Does he have a point? No, he doesn't have a point. If the New South Wales Police Force tomorrow morning were going to conduct a raid on a suspected terrorist location, they would, they're not obligated to come out and say, we'll be at such and such an address and we'll conduct a raid on a terrorist. Uh, that's full transparency. It's also stupid. There are some things which, in, in everything we do in society, uh, which should be secret. Jim Molan, who led coalition forces in Iraq, says Julian Assange is more conspiracy theorist than journalist. His paranoia putting security at risk. Now it's time for him to be accountable for his decisions before a court of law. I don't believe he is a, a, a paragon of media virtue. He's not a journalist and that WikiLeaks is not a media organisation, therefore they cannot rely on freedom of the press as a principle to protect him. He's conducted actions uh, and he denies that he should be responsible for those actions in any way, shape or form. I believe he should be responsible for them, but in accordance with the law. No doubt Assange polarises people, never more so than during the 2016 US election. A shadow over the campaign, another batch of hacked WikiLeaks emails. WikiLeaks published 30,000 private and classified emails from the Hillary Clinton campaign. WikiLeaks, I love WikiLeaks. Many believe the mass email release handed Trump the presidency. Grassroots supporters of Assange considered him a turncoat, critical of his timing and the suspicion that the leaks came from Russia. Is there any chance, in your opinion, that Julian Assange and WikiLeaks was used, set up, by a foreign nation to destabilise a democratic process? Uh, no, absolutely, most certainly not. Good God, can you imagine? I mean, what a mad idea. So the idea that your son is a Russian asset, as oh, he's been God described? Oh, for God's sake, Russian asset. I mean, you know, spare me. Russian asset. Just ridiculous. It just fits their name, you know. We lost the election because of the Russians, not because we're klutzes, not because we called half the population of the United States deplorable, not because I was the worst candidate in 40 years to stand for election, not because I destroyed Libya and giggled like a mad woman seeing a bane that stuffed up Gaddafi's arsehole. I mean, really. Coming up, what happened in London? It's heartbreaking, really. Was Julian Assange betrayed or was he just a bad tenant? Saw clothes in the bathroom and um, faecal matter on the embassy walls. And should Australia rescue him? That would be tops. <laughs> That's next on 60 Minutes. John, are you finding your efforts to support Julian in this latest battle do you feel tireless in that, or are you slightly exhausted oh, by no, the tireless, effort? Tireless, tireless, uh, yeah. Um, John Shipton believes his son, Julian Assange, is being persecuted and betrayed by politics. The United States was determined to ruin his life for whatever reason. You believe it's that personal? They want to ruin his life? Yes. 
they want to demonstrate that publishers and whistleblowers will be destroyed. It was to avoid ultimate extradition to the United States that Sor Assange breached his UK bail conditions and seek asylum from Ecuador seven years ago. For all that time, he's lived in the embassy here in London, under threat of arrest if he ventured outside. Hoy, anuncio que la conducta irrespetuosa y agresiva... Ecuador was happy to protect him until two weeks ago, when they called in the police to have him removed. Why do you believe Julian is in the situation he is today? Why do you think he was evicted from the embassy? Ecuador, who uses... It doesn't have its own currency, it uses the United States dollar, got a, an IMF loan, and you can't get an IMF loan unless the United States approves of it. Your conclusion is that Ecuador well, it traded it Julian way, Assange yes. For, yes. Yes. For, for a loan. Yes, it seems that way to me. The Ecuadorians have another side to the story. They describe a man who became increasingly erratic, who outstayed his welcome with bad behaviour. What is it like, you know, as his father, to hear some of those like, accusations of bad behaviour? And some of it gets very personal, you know, talking about soiled clothes in the bathroom and, and faecal matter on the embassy walls. They're just smears. There have been millions of them. Accusations that he hacked the president's phone. Just rubbish. They nauseate me. But they don't affect me. Nor my own love for Julian. I'm affected. In fact, uh, to use a metaphor, I feel myself raising above that storm like there. An Everest. Assange is now in a high security London prison, awaiting sentencing for skipping bail. He has also been charged with conspiracy by the US, and an extradition hearing will be held this week. So I'd be inclined to speak with uh, to write all the time. For nearly a decade, lawyer Greg Barnes has been supporting John and helping advise Julian. Now he's seeking the Australian government to step in to stop Assange's extradition to the US. If he were, for example, detained in China for this period of time uh, and, and ill-treated, uh, there would be a hue and cry, in, not only on the part of the government, but the Australian media. Because it's the United States, we seem to think there's some form of exception. He hasn't been detained for seven years. I mean, this is where he went to, well, to avoid being detained in the United States. That is a, a sticking point for many people. I, I think it is, and I understand why people say that, but l let me explain it this way. Uh, it is legitimate to seek asylum when you have a reasonable fear uh, that you would be uh, persecuted uh, in another country. In the past, you've expressed a concern that you'd expect Julian Assange to be tortured. Yeah, I do. My fear was that he would get dragooned to the United States and thrown into a jail cell, never to get out again. Is that still your greatest fear? Yes, yes, yes. What has Julian given up by being the founder of WikiLeaks, by being in the position he is in today? Uh, most everything. Most everything human you know, family, his son's in England working in, in the computers, in the computer field, yeah. His daughter goes to primary school. It's heartbreaking, really. The Julian Assange story raises much debate about the protection of state secrets versus the public's right to know even what journalism really is. But at its heart, this is about a family's torment and a dad's desire to see his son set free, to come home, to meet at will. 
It would be really nice to sit there with the kids and, you know, the occasional person saying good on you, mate, or welcome home. That would be tops. <laughs> Do you think it's going to happen? Oh, I hope so, yes. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.